Windfall, Chapter 4, Rebuttal Pearl and the Avatar of Lexa make their way to the landing pads in the city, picking one to stand at and look off into space, awaiting the return of Flint and Kai. Lexa glanced to Pearl, clasping his hands behind his back. So, when are you going to tell them? Pearl scoffed and crossed her arms. What? What do you... No, why would I tell any of them? Because you tend to put a lot of trust in mortals. Pearl shrugged a little, moving on to swinging her arms back and forth. Coming from the guy that also put trust in mortals. Lixa raised an eyebrow as he looked to Pearl once more. Do you not remember where you were during the Promethean War? <laughs> Before Pearl can answer, a ship exits FTL in a flash of white light, slowing to a stable orbit of Mercury. They both ceased their conversation as the ship came down, landing gear nigh bending from the force of the touchdown. Momentarily after, the ramp at the back lowers, and the trio of Flint, Kai, and Ermac exit the ship. Ermac in particular, stumbling out and falling onto his back with a shout. Ah. Next time, I fly the ship. What are you talking about? I did just fine. It's like driving a car. If my speech therapy lessons are anything to go by, they are nothing alike. Ermac gets onto his feet, adjusting a belt about his waist, holding a scroll to his side. All Ermac knows is, he is on solid ground again, and he is grateful. Yes. Asuka ran up the stairs to meet with the trio, coming alongside Pearl and Lexa as Ermac kissed the metal at his feet before spitting off to the side and wiping off his mouth. <laughs> hey, Asuka, how'd everything go, Alexa? Fine, but uh, we have a situation at the gate. More folks came. Flint started walking towards the stairs, down, the others following except Lexa whose avatar dissipated. Just one. Quincy is keeping him occupied. As they walk along, they see a ship go into orbit from the direction of the gate. Once there, they see Quincy speaking with a large Illudian, sword in the Illudian's hand. Quincy, meanwhile, was projecting a document with his mech. So, as uh, as you can see by uh, uh, Article 47, Section 31, Sub, Section 12, Sub, Sub, Section 7, you are in violation of the Free People's Democratic Soviet Republic's Law of uh, Property Ownership on Neighboring Bodies and, and uh, therefore, trespassing. The Illudian simply huffed and dragged his sword horizontally across the gate with the irritating whine of metal on metal, the symbol on the end of the blade visible. The other five come behind Quincy as he backs away at the raising of the sword. And who might you be? I am Thalnok, here on behalf of another. And you came yourself? I am all that is necessary. Ermac came forward, getting between Quincy and the gate. Name sounds familiar. You know Chainbreakers. My ancestors aided Ishnek in her revolution. She was right, Ermac, and you know it. Yes, you come from long line of stupid. Pearl peeked her head up over Flint's shoulder to speak. Yeah. Why did you come here? Were you part of the group that came last time? Thalnok smirked when he saw Pearl get a look of worry upon making eye contact with him. They came on my behalf, but now I see that what I seek is here, and I must get it myself. He points his sword through the gate to Asuka, and she takes a step back. Kai raises her right fist, bearing the hand of eternity, as the gem she'd put in lights up a brilliant crimson, emitting a low hum. Try anything, and you'll run to soul to cool off. Thalnok retracts his blade and laughs, preparing to cut down the gate. <laughs> Try me, scale skin! With two diagonal swings, he cuts the gate in two with a blinding flash of lightened sparks, stunning all except Quincy 
and breaking the lock before charging through. He stopped short when Quincy unleashed a stream of orange lightning on him. Racism on my property? Thaldock stands and prepares to swing at Quincy, but Flint fires a blind shot from his revolver, striking Thaldock in the wrist, making him drop his sword. He groans before using the other hand to punch Flint in the gut, making him drop his gun and to his knees. Thalnock went to retrieve his sword, but Pearl blasted the sword away with a high-velocity blue mist. Thalnock responded by firing a trick-sleeve pistol at Pearl, grazing her head and making her recoil, dropping to all fours. Asuka then fires her grappling hook at Thalnock's sword, pulling it over to herself. She gripped it with both upper hands, going for an overhead swing, but the weight of the sword slowed her down, giving Thalnock an opening to strike her in the gut with a sickening crack knocking Asuka onto her back. Quincy goes to shock him again, but he was kicked onto his back by Thalnok after he retrieved his sword, leaving Asuka laying on the ground in pain. Ermac, rubbing his eyes and now able to see, held out a hand with green energy. A cone of emerald plasma began to leech out from Thalnok, the occasional spark of orange lightning. But he fired his trick sleeve pistol at Ermac as well, striking him in the shoulder and stunning him long enough for Thalnok to close the distance and bash him on the head with the hilt of the sword, knocking him over. He turns to Asuka on the ground, flipping his sword to a reverse grip, but stopped moving towards her when he heard a low hum. He would turn to see Kai standing there, her fists clenched and the red gem of her gauntlet still glowing. And then there were two. Are you not afraid? Only that it won't be a long fight. Kai rushed Thalnok, and he prepared to swing diagonally at Kai, but she caught his hand with her left hand, delivering a right hook to his face with her own right, marked by a small burst of scarlet flames. He recoiled, taking a couple steps back, but didn't have time to recover as Kai struck him in the gut with another flame-fueled punch, knocking him back further, nearly off his feet. But Kai grabbed him by the head and slammed his face down onto her knee with a crack of bone. Thalnok finally fell onto his back. His face caved in. Everyone okay? Pearl groaned in pain before speaking, holding her head. I think I got a trim. Kai came over to Pearl and chuckled before helping her to her feet. Pearl looked at Thalnok with worry. Kai turned to see his face quickly stitched back together with shamrock wires and strings. The bullet Flint put into his wrist popped out with green mist. He slowly sat back up and grabbed his sword, coming to his feet and turning to face the two. Kai aimed her gauntlet hand once more and unleashed a gout of hellfire. Thalnok held up his sword in a vain attempt to stop the ruby fire. The heat was so intense his sword sublimated within seconds and melted the ground at his feet to glass. After a couple minutes, Kai stopped, seeing Thalnok on his knees, completely scorched. He was suddenly illuminated by a green light, and he slowly got to his feet once more. Pearl groans before gathering blue plasma in her left hand. Oh, take off! She swings her hand upwards, and throws Thalnok in the air, in the sapphire sphere beyond the gate and out of the habitat bubble, landing flat on his face. Quincy sat up shortly after, his front hatch opening as his avian self faced Pearl and Kai. Take, take, take off? <laughs> what, 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 what are you, Canadian? You can't make that assumption. You don't know me well enough. Flint interjects with a chuckle as he stands, still holding his arms over his gut. <laughs> yeah, you also say sorry a lot. It's, it's not my fault, okay? I'm just a mess. Asuka sat up, groaning quietly and planting her lower hands on the ground to prop herself up. She saw Thalnok laying on the ground, beyond the habitat bubble, beyond the gate, barely breathing, but still very much alive in the vacuum. Uh, guys? He's still breathing. Ermac quickly stood and assumed a martial arts pose, Baring his teeth before looking around, pouting a little to see the fight was over. Crossing his arms. Kai looked to Pearl, 
clenching her fists once more. Where's the draconian you captured? Uh, out in the back of the building with the new jail. Why? Kai began walking off, the gem of her gauntlet glowing once more. I'm going to get answers. Quincy nervously went to follow Kai, trying to keep pace with her. Wait, wait, Kai, Kai sl 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 slow down, 